Box2D. It's one of the most famous game engines in the world for physics. It's used for Crayon Physics Deluxe, Angry Birds, Tiny Wings, Limbo, Transform Mice. Open source, freely available, with plenty of documentation and examples. It's in C++ and it says that you should not use this as your first C++ game. Let's ignore the warnings of not appropriate for beginners and dive in. There is a Dart port by the good people at the Flame organization of Box2D for Dart. There's another Flame Forge package here that will connect it to the Flame game engine to run on Flutter. There's also documentation for Forge2D. So again, Forge2D is the Dart implementation of Box2D. On the docs.flame-engine.org site, you can get the documentation. Let's ignore all the documentation for now. Let's start coding, and by coding, we'll learn the basics. Start off with a new Flutter package or project, Flutter create. To keep the project small, I'm just going to put it on Linux. I will call it maybe, how about box demo, maybe box to the demo. I'm going to add flame and flame forge 2D. Okay. The startup VS code. Let's go to the main dot dart file. The, everything under the run app and we'll create a game class my my box game well maybe let's call it my game extends forge 2d game and we'll change this to game widget, which accepts the game, and it will be my game. Okay, so we have our basic Forge 2D game ready for some physics here. Let's run it and note that lines one and two, VS Code did the auto import for me. So I have the flame game.dart and the flame underscore forge 2d dot dart package we have a beautiful black screen here that's ready for our physics game currently is all black we just need to start populating it with some um, individual bodies but maybe let's let's first create a player body component is from the forge 2d game so this one's going to be a, uh, a bit new and we're going to need to create a body for the forge 2d uh, the implementation of box 2d it's going to need a shape i'm going to start off with a circle shape Maybe let's start off with, let's say, a radius of six. And there's something that's called a, a fixture definition. Again, this is from the Forge 2D. So the fixture definition requires a, a shape 
and it's going to require maybe a few other okay let's uh let's set the friction at least oh forgot to have the method The create body is also from forge 2D. Okay. Need a position, the starting point of our body. Let's just go five, five for now. And there's different types of body types. The body type for dynamic will allow it to move around, which is what we want. I'm going to try to return the world with the body depth that we just created. Create fixture and there's a definition for the fixture that we created. So there's a world and we're adding to the world the body definition and the fixture uh, definition here. Now we have a player. Nice. Now we have a body. Let's review the concepts that we've covered so far in the tutorial. To use Box 2D in Flutter, we are using the Dart implementation of Box 2D and it's called Forge 2D. To make it easier to use Forge 2D in a game, we are using the Flame Game Engine. So if you're familiar with flame development, normally there's something called flame game here, and we are replacing that with forge 2D game. So unlike a normal flame game, you replace flame game with forge 2D game. And then we're adding the player, but the player is now this new type called a body component. And this is from the Forge 2D game package. There are a number of concepts for Box 2D, which we're calling Forge 2D going forward. Uh, one is a shape. You can have a polygon shape or circle shape. This is pre-built into Forge 2D, and we are using a circle shape. The coordinate system is a bit different. So this is not six pixels here. It's a numbering system that's within the Forge 2D game coordinate system. You also need a fixture definition. This again is from, it's a new concept and it's from the Forge 2D game. There's a bunch of more parameters that we can set for the fixture definition. We just started off with friction right here. And this will give your physics you more, much more control of your physics. So, but to get started, uh, we'll keep it pretty simple. And then there's a body definition here, which in this case, it has the, 
the position. So the last concept is there's a world and the world has this body definition and we attach the uh, fixture onto it. So this is the entire code base that we have thus far. The Forge 2D game, when, in, when the game loads, we're adding the player and the player right now is defined here. So the player is entering the scene at this vector 5 comma 5 and it, it's not a pixel so for example I put this thing at 20 you can see that's not actually 20 pixels right in the next video we want to attach some type of sprite onto the body that was created in the, the body component. And this one also has a ground. So we're going to get through it step by step. The next step is to create a sprite, which we'll cover in the next video, and then attach the sprite to the body component. So I have the body component right now rendering just to make it easier for the tutorial to follow. But if you set it to false, it will just be the sprite character. In this case, it's uh, the sprite character, the name is Natsuki. And she has a gravity associated with her, uh, the world does. And you could alter the gravity, gravity and her bounce. So it's Then her bounce. So we can decrease her elasticity. So the more, the, the, the higher the restitution, the more bounce the character will have. And the lower it is, the less they'll bounce. Okay, so if you want to follow this type, uh, maybe give this video a like. I'll use the feedback to see what to create next. And if you're interested, I'll definitely will at least create another video. So subscribe to the channel and then you'll get a notification of when the next video comes out where we're attached to Sprite. And we'll probably use Natsuki.